Is it worth joining the Medium Partner Program? That all depends on what kind of a writer you are, and how you handle your writing business. To determine if it's worth joining the Medium Partner Program MPP, for yourself, you need to understand what it means to you. There is no cost involved. Some people get this confused with Medium Membership, which costs $5 a month. However, that's for readers to have unlimited access to articles. Non-paying subscribers can only read three articles per month. As a writer, there is no charge to get paid. Joining the MPP is free. To determine if the MPP will work for you, I'll explain how the value of it differs based on your style of work and the type of content you write. Writing for followers If you want to make money on Medium, you need a following. In addition, you need followers who actually read your articles. Update, as of October 28, 2019, revenue is based on red time and no longer on claps. Reader engagement affects how often your articles are shared across the platform. Applause has a great effect on that, although revenue is earned from red time. Claps are still useful because they determine the quality of your content, and translate into more distribution across the platform. Readers can clap once, or up to 50 times. I have some articles with a large view count, but for some reason, no one claps. Maybe they just don't think of it when done reading. I know that I sometimes forget, especially when I leave a comment. I tend to forget to applaud after leaving my comment. So it's evident to me that we need to get readers feeling so strong about what they just read, that they want to clap and remember to clap. By the way, we can't ask for it. It's against policy to ask readers to clap. If you do, your article will not be curated. Writing to get curated The editors are always on the lookout for quality content that they feature on the topic pages and via email to other readers. It's crucial to write stellar quality articles that provide useful content so that your work will be curated. That's where the money is. It helps to be curated to get more eyeballs noticing you for the first time. Writing in medium publications Another thing that's important to understand is where your readers come from. I mentioned earlier that you need a following to make money on medium. That following grows over time. Besides getting curated, you can also get more eyeballs if you publish in any of the great publications on Medium. You get the advantage of the followers of those publications who might find you there as well. Considering organic traffic Organic traffic is what comes from Google search. A great article that has the information people are searching for on the web will attract organic traffic from search engines. Unfortunately, this is useless on Medium since we don't get paid for these eyeballs. They read, but they can't clap. I have a couple of articles on Medium that went viral with search traffic. But I didn't get paid for that traffic. So is it worth it? That brings me to the final point and the actual answer to the question, is it worth joining the Medium Partner Program as a writer? If you would rather spend time building a base of followers, and keeping them engaged with constant posts of new content, then you can build up a decent revenue stream on Medium. But if you stop writing, even for a month, your income may dry up. I tested this, and that's what happened. On the other hand, I've had occasions where I left my content on other sites alone for many months without adding to it, and the revenue just kept growing anyway. I'll explain why this is, if the type of material you write about helps answer questions that people are searching for on the internet, then it's best to write for organic traffic, and Medium is not the place for that. To make money from organic traffic, you need to have revenue from advertising. Medium does not have paid ads. They are known for that as a means to give readers an ad-free environment. I have been publishing articles elsewhere for a decade where I receive monthly revenue from ads placed on my content. I still get paid for articles I wrote 10 years ago. Organic traffic does not require a following. New readers will always appear via search engines. If you write good content that gives readers something of value, then organic traffic builds up over time. 
Look for places where you could publish with ads such as Google AdSense. I've written about comparisons in my other tutorials. Good content with value for readers is important on Medium too, but remember that you need to keep working at it. If that's your goal, and you feel you can write articles consistently without interruption, then the Medium Partner Program is worth it. What is the best place to write online for money? That all depends on what kind of audience you want for your writing and how you wish to receive revenue for your content. I'll describe two sites that I found are the best. Hub pages, if you write evergreen articles that tend to focus on answering questions people may search for, then Hub pages network of niche sites is best for organic traffic. Residuals build over time as Google continues to increase your ranking based on the reader's view duration. I found I still make money from articles written years ago. Residuals come from advertising placed on your articles by Google AdSense and other ad agencies. You can also place Amazon ads, but only if 100% related to the subject. You can write about many different subjects and hub pages will publish stellar quality articles on specific niche sites where you get more recognition. Medium, if you are more into blogging type content that builds a following, then Medium works well for that. You make money on Medium when paid members engage with your content by reading and applauding. Even though Medium does get organic traffic too, you don't make money from those readers since they are not subscribing members and Medium does not use ads. When you write on Medium, it helps to stick to a specific niche to build a loyal, engaged following. Conclusion, I find it easier to write for organic traffic because you always get fresh interaction from new readers rather than needing to build a following. However, I also found that certain topics work better for organic search traffic, and other topics work better for followers who are interested in reading more from a specific author. So, I put equal weight on both platforms. For some authors a combination of both is worthwhile considering.